hello everyone today we have with us abhiram who is a software developer at oracle and he's also a youtuber with 26000 subscribers exactly. so do subscribe to his channel yeah. and today we are going to talk all about his journey and you know how he prepared to become a software developer at oracle and uh, how did he crack the interview everything so hi abhiram hey hey amisha so, so how is your life at oracle till now and mm-hmm. what is the work that you do yeah nice question uh as everyone might know oracle is primarily a database company hmm. its database is the is what makes it popular so proud to say i am chosen to db role db field there is a what is the thing yeah, business line line of business lob hmm. so my lob is db and uh, life here is awesome till now i have seen what i have seen is the work life balance here is amazing uh people here are very helpful very nice and everything is amazing bangalore except for the traffic it's fine yeah and how is the bangalore weather yeah bangalore weather is amazing but for people who comes here initially there is a high chance of getting cold mm-hmm. and i have got it two times okay. i hope i i hope you also got <laughs> Uh, no no i am from north okay, so uh, i don't get cold you have seen the extreme so this is like basic for you right right cool definitely. cool so mm-hmm. first of all tell me how did you prepare for mm-hmm. like oracle what was your preparation strategy uh my in my college days i was not much concerned initially about uh, this placement and stuff mm-hmm. i was just going with the vibe first year second year went then corona came mm-hmm. i was at home just seeing youtube uh, videos to pass the exam the content the teachers gave were uh, online mode so it wasn't much uh, useful it was uh, it gave me something but it was not much useful so uh, things were going smoothly and that's when internship season came hmm. started in my third year so companies started coming um, and i first company that came was google actually okay okay in google internship i i was too confident i had this computer science uh, in my plus 1 plus 2 so i knew c++ basics of c++ so i went in full confidence i went in first question was about vectors vector array okay, okay. you might have heard vector array no? that is some um, dynamic array this is there that's vector array so the only vector i know was this a i cap plus b j cap plus c k cap thing and uh, that's when i realized i don't know shit about this thing okay so <laughs> okay then uh, google interview was done a uh, google uh, exam was done i know for sure i won't be shortlisted and i wasn't and then another company came then another company came and uh, i wasn't concerned much initially because i thought i am an easy student i can get uh, core jobs easily mm-hmm. but the thing which shocked me was the amount of money stipend they are giving okay <laughs> most big companies used to give are giving above 80000 or google used to give google gave 90k i think per month mm-hmm. so per month they are giving this much so what is there in this software that's what i had in my mind mm-hmm. so uh, that was a big uh, uh, boost for me like this has something in it this has money in it so i need to see what is in there but i didn't know anything i realized that so realization was a very big thing for me mm-hmm. then i started studying slowly i started studying basis basics of uh, c++ then uh, what bsa ris linked list etc slowly started and i was giving uh, even though i am just a beginner my confidence level was so i useless confidence only <laughs> i gave my exams math works i gave uh, g healthcare i gave every exams i gave i think i wrote about 46 exams and short got shortlisted in none of them internship season was done then i realized this is not what to do there is something extra that needs to be done so then i had this 3 month gap between third year and fourth year mm-hmm. okay so in that time uh, i went through a full dsa a video of like 10 hours was there in youtube i think my code school was the site so i went through that thing in one week 
then uh, with that video i could uh, understand the exact things that were going on with arrays linked list uh, graphs trees etc and then i started focusing on problems if you are a, uh, an aspirant preparing for placements you might know striver yeah, you know striver, striver. striver. everyone knows striver yeah. striver is like god for placement preparation right. he had this uh, sheet about 180 questions right yeah uh, each topic was uh, individually mentioned there uh, five questions from this topic five questions thoroughly arranged thoroughly uh, managed links proper video solutions proper explanations and everything was perfect in that as for me and uh, the way he explains is also good there is an if you, have you watched his videos right right i have watched the videos uh, there will be an accent uh, there will be a tone like you can observe if you observe this is it are <laughs> yes, are yes. like something fun. it will be fun to watch yes so uh, for that 3 months i daily daily i prepared for uh, something something i did daily some 2 to 3 questions minimum i did mm -hmm. so if you ask me what is the main main thing to achieve something be it placements be it cracking an exam be it anything it is consistency definitely definitely yeah. like you have to show up every other thing that i noticed is when we do things uh, for the sake of it we won't be seeing results mm -hmm. but after some time if we are consistent we will start enjoying it for dsa also once i go to know uh, this is how things are like there will be a pattern once we uh, do a lot of problems we can see once we see the problem we can say oh this is linked list we can apply this we can use map we can use uh, hash map mm -hmm. we can get the value we can get the answer so that pattern will come once that happens everything will be so joyful we can enjoy and do there won't be a stress factor coming in of course there will be when company starts coming but while learning it will be fun when that fun element comes in everything will be awesome in order to get that fun element we need that one word thing which we both mentioned now consistency and what yeah. happened when company started coming for full time roles in your college again awesome question <laughs> so first company that came was innovations so it was a good exam for me like there were five questions i could solve three i was happy mm. then came another good company in that i could only solve one out of five i was totally devastated mm. so i know i wouldn't be shortlisted but that's not the thing i just wanted to solve at least some 40% 50% age of the questions so that i can gain confidence for the next company then came orc so in oracle there was no coding round the rounds were like aptitude uh, then there will be mcq related to dsa mcq related to uh, some other uh, trees graphs etc that comes under dsa so uh, that went well for me that went really good for me uh, the only thing that matters in uh, oracle exam is time constraint you need to be very good with time exam was well uh, when well it was in july 27 of uh, 2022 so it went well and uh, results came two days after that 29 remember the dates yeah, also exactly exactly this is like uh, uh, beautiful Engraved in memory yes exactly beautiful memories for me mm -hmm. so result came two days after uh, surprisingly uh, all of my friends got in in that shortlist i had this two study buddies so both of them got in i also got in we were so happy we went out had uh, food and came back we had interview in our mind so interview was the next step i knew oracle was a database company so i started focusing on db hmm. i did not have much uh, concept related to db before so i started putting all in on db and i studied db i revised uh, what i have learned before i went through the i had this habit of making notes whatever problem i solved i will put the title of the problem and then just uh, put a thing what i learned from that problem what did i use in this so i went through that notebook there were like three notebooks three big books full so not uh, exaggerating but everyone yeah notebooks okay exactly you would also know because uh, everyone who prepares with enthusiasm will have something to show mm. fun fact i had this uh, is actually a bad habit while preparing for je 
I used to collect the pens which I finished. Okay. The reason why I did that is, even if I fail, I can show my father like, I, I finished this much pens. <laughs> Yeah, I even I used to feel very happy, you know, when I complete a register, I'm like, okay, one more register ah. completed. So I am doing something. Yeah, that sense of uh, completeness will come. Ah. Yeah. So coming back, I just went through all my uh, stuff. I just sold random problems. GFG, I'll click random link. I'll pro- do it. Something like that I did. For three days, I did this stuff. <laughs> PV and all. August 1st was the interview date. So full on confidence. Full on energy i went in it was online zoom conference hmm. so first round was there was a puzzle there was a coding question puzzle was related to uh, you might have heard this puzzle uh, we will be in a um, well so initial uh, first day we can go up four steps and then we will fall down two steps again we can go for fault so the well was like 40 meter deep how how much days will it take for me to get out Okay. Of the web. So I answered that correctly. Then there was a coding question, coin uh, exchange question. Like um, I have denominations of 1, 2, 10, 20, etc. I need to give a sum of like uh, 500. I should use the minimum number of nodes to do that. Mm-hmm. A dynamic programming question. That went well. And uh, then some more of this trees, uh, MCQ type questions. And then he said, yeah. He just wanted to check my coding skill. Uh, it's fine. Uh, yeah, I can wait in the breakthrough. So I was waiting. And then another call came. Uh, it said uh, I am in the second round. So the second round interview was a bit more advanced. Here he asked me two coding questions. One was related to classes in C++. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then one another question which I don't remember exactly. Then he asked me about uh, oops. Oops concepts. Thoroughly he asked. He went in deep, he dived deep into it, asked me something uh, advanced. But thankfully, I prepared for anything. Mm -hmm. I could answer that. And uh, then there was a slight discussion about my project. Okay. Then, uh, second round was almost one hour long. Uh, It also went well. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, uh, there was again a break. Then, after some, some time, Third round came. In between this, I was getting messages from my friends who were also shortlisted. Like they, uh, people said them, you can, your interview is over, you can leave. So they were slowly getting eliminated. So I also thought, oh, okay, now my turn will also come to go. I was sitting like this. I was just praying to God. I need to clear somehow. So third round also came. Mm. A very senior manager mm. came and he introduced himself to me. And... Uh, he prepared some coding questions for me and he asked me one or two. After that, he dived into projects. This was supposed to be an HR round, but turned out to be technical. Mm-hmm. So in project, while I was uh, discussing my project with him, uh, this is the project which finally a project which I did. He was very interested in it because he was also doing something related to it. Okay. So it was something related to cash systems. like. Uh, network caching will be there no mm-hmm. youtube and all our local system will store some data before uh, so in order to reduce the buffer time mm-hmm. so uh, he was interested in that so he started talking to me and he wanted to know how much i knew about this stuff so he asked me to design this system he didn't tell me where to design how to design what to use anything he didn't tell me i was a bit confused mm-hmm. i thought for some uh, 30 seconds one minute then I opened uh, paint. Okay. I opened paint and I drew server, client and what lines are there. I labeled them and I explained it to him. I think he liked it. And then we discussed some more on this. And he, he said to me, I like you. <laughs> then uh, he said, I'll uh, inform the panel regarding your performance. Bye. So, the time after that, like the interview started at 9, ended at 12. Same, same for me. It started uh-huh. at 9, ended at 12, three rounds done between that. Uh-huh. And uh, I thought that, you know, now I'll get in. Uh-huh. Like, you know, I have 9 to 12, three rounds. And I know that, you know, if you are if you are in the third round, there's a high chance you will be selected. Yes, yes. What happens is next is that all the people get third round, almost uh-huh. everyone. Only, I think two, three people did not yeah, have yeah. third round. Everyone else got a third round. Till six, 
6 p.m. in the evening. And my rounds are completed at 12. So I was doing nothing and I was just... seeing people you know ah, going for the round round yeah same so, same <laughs> at that time i thought that you know maybe i ah, overestimated my interview exactly same feeling for me so after completing interview i was also sure that any percentage i'll get in mm-hmm. but as you said people were going through third rounds that time also so between that 12 to uh, results came at 8:30 in the night i think so that was a very very confusing time for me Uh, my close friend uh, from college he also completed three rounds so he he too had the exact same feel as me because he knew he will get in i also knew but we were not disclosing it to friends because we shouldn't get their hopes high yeah so at 8:30 results came coding that's the interview oracle interview selection story to my subscribers who are seeing this uh, amisha here is an amazing amazing youtuber and an amazing software developer so uh, make sure to subscribe her channel also so uh, my my subscribers will be shocked seeing how uh, i speak in english because i speak proper malayalam only in my channel mm. Mm. even if some small bit of english comes they will tell in comment oh english wow <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, Pandey, I did Pandey not. Pandey subscribers, man. I should also learn Malayalam and you know understand your videos. Sure, because sure. I just look at the videos, don't understand much. Just try to figure out what's going on. Yeah. But many uh, people have said Malayalam is like a song. Like it will. No, oh, no, 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 no. No, the way you speak is definitely like that. I don't know about others. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay. So. Uh, oh, that is it. Twenty five k. Twenty six k. Twenty six k. Yeah. Yeah. So. that the feeling that you mentioned exactly uh, when i gave that oracle interview mm-hmm. it's very similar feeling 9 am the interview starts mm. i don't even wake up at 9 am every day okay so <laughs> that day i woke up at 9 am yeah. and interviews were dsa puzzles for uh, projects they also looked at the resume and they asked so i had mentioned some projects in python huh. so this person just wanted to check if i know python or not okay, so he okay. gave me a very simple program in python yeah. that you know they will that, check uh, resume because mm. uh, if we are telling something that is not true hmm. done yes we are done there and honesty is very important especially sure, in sure, interview sure. Huh. so and then they got me this question of my sql ah my sql ah. and my bad i never bothered to learn my sql <laughs> i knew some basic commands but i never practiced uh-huh. anything so i didn't remember anything uh-huh. what happened uh, and uh, i thought you know what do i do and oracle is a database company yeah, so yeah. my sql and at that time i realized that you know maybe this will be the end of my interview <laughs> but i told them that you know i don't know my sql so i am sorry i would i i know some command i know this is select uh-huh. this is this but i don't remember the syntax yeah. so after that uh, i thought this is the end of the interview but thankfully that was the second round and i got a third round so cool cool that was it and then uh, yeah so third round was hr round and uh, not very technical mm. like unlike your case Hmm. they asked me questions like where do you see yourself in 5 years where do you see yourself in 10 years what did you answer for that okay so for 5 years i answered that you know i would like to try uh, explore things like uh-huh. you know i will try to explore say different technologies i don't want to be bound to one technology and then 10 years later i would like to probably specialize in oh, one of them oh okay okay so, cool that's an amazing answer actually how did you think of that did you plan before or no no i did not plan before actually i have this habit of you know asking uh, after every interview uh-huh. i ask the interviewer that you know what do you think are the skills okay. needed for uh-huh. a good software developer uh-huh. so almost everyone tells me that you know you should explore different things explore. you should not be stuck on one cool cool so i took that advice that you know i should use that that's so, so intelligent there so, is this friend of mine okay He he had this interview. Mm. Uh, they asked him, "Where do you see yourself in ten years?" Mm. He was not much interested in that company. What he said, what he said was, "CEO." <laughs> Interestingly, <laughs> he got selected. So uh, people have this thought like they if they get into HR round, everything is sorted. But that's not the case. Even a bad answer in HR round might affect our selection. and one person i know actually mentioned something like mm-hmm. that you know in the next 5 years i would like to go for uh, i would like to work for a few years in the company and then uh-huh. go for higher studies uh-huh. so then she was rejected in the last round so this is something you should never say exactly because uh, yeah because the company wants someone who will stay for a very long time yeah. so that company is thing. investing in you hmm. the company wants you in because the company believes that you will help them grow in order to help them grow you must be there a person telling them 
that i will be there for 2 years and i will do a do higher studies or i will move to another company is a waste for the company from company's point of view i won't i won't also select such a person it was really great talking to you amisha and to people out there in youtube yeah and it was very great having abhiram on our channel and uh, he is a very fun guy to talk to <laughs> even in his interview experience he has made it so fun so yeah I, i need to learn that skill from you but yeah i like your channel very much it's so informative uh, i like the way you present yeah it's really nice i think there is bright future in your channel thank you so all the best it was great talking to you yeah same for me so see you next time bye